What's up, y'all? This your girl, Yo-Yo. And I'm back with this video. Um, This video is about, I say, I've been watching the Queen Naija unfold. We actually did a reaction video, but I want to do this video because I seen that her mama released a video. Um... And I watched it. And well, I want to say what I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? First of all, I want to say that when Queen moved from Detroit to Texas, who was Queen rolling with, y'all? Let's think back. Who was she rolling with? It was her and Chris and Joel, right? Did y'all see a lot of Queen Ma? What was that? You didn't see a lot of Queen Ma. You know what I'm saying? Then when she started hanging with Perfect Laugh, um, Tay, and Armaya, and Trey, did you see her mom? No, oh. no, you didn't see too much of her mom. Um, who else she hung out with? When she did, when they did the DMB Nation thingy, you know, at the house and all of them. Went. Did you see her mom? No. Oh. I just want to know, like, why is it when Queen moves on into a different relationship, what makes it so different? Even when Queen. And Chris, y'all should see my dog. She's laying on the floor. That noise. She's scratching herself, but she looked like she twerking. But um, who she hung around? It was Jazz and Tay. You know what I'm saying? It was Jazz and Tay that she hung around. You didn't see her like. Even when she was going when she was going through her thing with Chris, she didn't like move out. She could have moved with her mom. She didn't do that. She moved with Jazz and Trey. I mean, yeah, Trey and Jazz and um our mom. You know what I'm saying? And Tay. She could have moved with her mom, but that's not where she wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking like before she blew up. Where was she at? Then she met Claire. She met Clarence. You know, where was she at? At Clarence's house. She never was at Mama Reva's house. You know what I'm saying? And not to say that she didn't love her. That's not where she wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? And I've been hearing about her buying Mama her mama car, and she's supposed to have bought her a Lexus. She's supposed to have did this and that. At the end of the day, y'all, it's Queen's money. She don't owe nobody nothing. All she owe is CJ and Lorenzo, baby Lorenzo. She don't have to do nothing for nobody. What she does for people is out of the kindness of her heart. So if she bought her mama a Pinto, that she, the mama should be grateful. You know what I'm saying? If she should let Queen pay my bills, I'm going to be grateful. I understand mom want to spend time with Queen, but it's conflicting to her schedule. Y'all could say that Queen can make time for what she want to do, possibly. But Queen was working. You know what I'm saying? Queen don't owe nobody Nobody nothing. When she signed up to make you, who was grinding with her? When she went through that tough time, who was there for her? You know what I'm saying? Who was there for her? You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, what she do out of, with her money is what she want to do. Y'all can't tell that woman what to do. Y'all can't say that she's being used. We don't know that. We don't know facts. You know what I'm saying? 
Nobody showed a receipt that she being used. You know what I'm saying? If anything, they making money together. Y'all mad because she's putting him on to make money. That's what I would do if I, you know what I'm saying? If, even if he, he wasn't making as much money, but she created a job for that man. Uh, shoot. Whether it's taking pictures, whether it's going by show. There's some things that she learned from him that she wasn't doing, that he learned from her that he wasn't doing. They learn from both each other. You know what I'm saying? And they both made money off of it. What, don't nobody say nothing when Clarence was uh take like what he did for her birthday. You know what I'm saying? They, so if she go out and buy him bags and stuff, oh he using her for his the money. They both doing for each other, so it don't matter. Some of y'all boyfriends ain't doing nothing for you guys, and that's facts. Period, as everybody want to say. So, if they want to do for each other, they, that's their problem. If she spend more money than her, they, she, he spend on her, that's their problem. They, It's all going to be in the same household. I don't see what the problem is. I can see if it was outside the household or whatever, but they stay in the same household. So, whatever funds, and then from the beginning... They split it off the the royal family channel. So both of them make off of that channel. And then they have their own channel. And then they doing their own thing or whatever they, you know, she's singing and he doing this, his thing over here. What well, doesn't matter what they give their parents. And the thing about it is Queen don't just show off everything she do for her mom. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know everything. Some of this stuff just coming out because of all the drama. But we don't know what all she do for her mom. It's just that she don't post every time. She she don't feel the need to post. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I bought my mama this. I bought my mama that. You know what I'm saying? She did show off the car. So what, what was so wrong with Clarence? Did one video of him showing off that he bought his mom, you know, getting his mama bathroom redone. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Queen showed off of buying her mama a car. You know what I'm saying? They making that money. I'm just saying. They don't announce every time they doing something for their parents. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy thing. It's like when they don't give us enough, then it's, oh, they they, they doing this, this, that. Either way, they're going to get talked about, whether they're doing good or bad. That's the crazy part. Queen don't owe nobody nothing. The only two persons she owe is CJ and baby Lorenzo, y'all. Whatever she do. And there should not be no... The thing about family, irregardless if it was whatever happened at the hospital, that should not been on social media. You call Queen up and you say, hey, what's, what, what's, what's good? Like, what's going on? You don't put that on social media because the thing is, that make a person, you know what I'm saying? When you trying to blast something out and keep putting my family business or whatever it is that's family business out, that make a person not even want to be around you. You that, that That's this to make a person want to distance themselves from you, you know? Yes. That makes some person want to distance. Because then when you get in a good space, then you, you want to be good. No. I don't, want, I don't want nothing from you. I don't want to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? People get, get that exposing stuff. And they do it at their convenience because they mad. But then when they turn around, don't nobody know what the really, really is. And they just believe and add on to it, whether it's true or false. And that's not right. That's not right. And then when you when you done with me, then you want to do want me to do stuff for you. Like they're trying to expose me and my care, you know, as a, my character. That's not right. You know what I'm saying? When you get mad, if leave me alone. If you don't want to deal with me at that time or you got a problem with me and I'm not addressing it, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to sit up here and try to blast me out on social media. 
You know what I'm saying? But if she want to build and do what she want to do for her family, her man, uh, his family, that's her business. That's just like, and she to me, she made a point. Tina and Jarrell is young. They can't really travel like they want to travel. You know what I'm saying? They can't, they can't travel like they want to travel. Unless they doing um, schooling from home. You know what I'm saying? And then, two, the stuff that they was doing, how could they? I, don't, I can't see how they would be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, to me, sometimes y'all expect too much out of Queen. Y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Queen... Even what what I hear about the car that she got her she got um, Clarence a uh, G wagon, but at the same time we don't know who who paid for that. We don't know we don't know who paid for. Did they go half? We don't know how they got that truck and how they went about it. But my thing is, for her to blow up and work real hard to where she at and to buy her mama. A car first? She didn't even have a car. Queen did not have a car. So, I mean, in, that car was a good car to me. She, you know, even if, if it wasn't the best. My thing is, Queen Mike was probably thinking when she got that car, that's something affordable. Like, if something was to go wrong with that car, they, I'm going to probably be able to fix it. But I'm just thinking economically because... You never know what may go down, you know what I'm saying? But economically, her mama will be able to fix that car. Buying a, a, a Lexus and all that, that, if Queen was to get dropped by her label or whatever, could her mama afford to do a tune-up on a Lexus or a Mercedes? You know what I'm saying? You know, some real stuff. Because, I mean... Right now, you could depend on it, but what happens if something happened? What? How would her mama be able to do whatever it, it needs to be done? You know what I'm saying? So that's just something to think about. Queen got a, her mama a car before she even got herself a car. Queen always seemed like she's thinking about everybody else but herself. And sometimes she she going to, Queen, start putting yourself first. I'm like that. I put everything, everybody first before me, but you got to sometimes think about yourself. You know what I'm saying? For your needs. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just like that. I think about everybody around me needs. I'm not going to say everybody, but the people I feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get I get backlash and I ain't even famous. Some people think I do more for the other one than I do for this one. And it'd be a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? People think I favor this one than this one. I get that too. And I'm not even famous. You know? It's not that everybody's different. I treat you different according to how you... Like, I got people that would do the world for me. You know what I'm saying? Then I got people who don't. If I ask them to do something, I got to pay them or do something. It, it's come, I got to come out of my pocket. But when it comes to me helping them, I got to, they want it free. So I, it's different with you. You know what I'm saying? I got people that, hey, let's, let, let me take you out. Okay, I'm going to take you out. But the other people don't see that. All they see is, oh, you taking such and such out, you don't treat me. But when did you ever treat me? People only see what they want to see. People don't know what sometimes what it really is. They just going by what they see or what they feel. And then sometimes it don't be that way. You know what I'm saying? And then I always wonder, like, you know, because Clarence used to be always, you know, private. And I see because people always speculate what's going on. And it be sometimes some of y'all stuff that y'all put out and say be just far from what it is. 
And you don't know the background of Queen and her mama and why she's the way she is about what, you know, her mama and why she's doing what she do. Because it, it might be some things that's been told to Clarence and that's why he act the way he act. You never know. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't told to us, you know. So we just be speculating. And, oh, she did, she did, she did. No, it'll be far from it. You know what I'm saying? We and it seems like we want everything to be bad. Since Queen, it's I swear it seems like since Queen then blew up, her stuff been on the radio. It's like negative, 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 negative. It's like everybody got their own rules on how she her life's supposed to be, and it's crazy. It's real crazy. And I now I be like I be feeling like I'm agreeing with Clarence how he used to be. Like the, everything is not for social media. Let let us speculate. But you know, we all want to be in to their lives. You know what I'm saying? Knowing what's going on. But I see why he wanted to be private. Because look what y'all do. As soon as they open up to you guys or us, look what happens. Oh, now he's controlling. He won't let her spend her money. His family spend all that dumb junk. That's crazy. Like, Queen just don't have a mind of her own. I don't see it. I feel like Queen spends her money how she wants to spend it. You know what I'm saying? And if I feel appreciated, uh, you know what I'm saying? Or I feel like what I do for you ain't enough. I, enough is enough. You know? Enough is enough. You get tired of... And then when people goes out to expose you, especially when it's family, they try to humiliate you. And most nine times out of ten, anything that family says, whether it's true or not, it's believable. It's believable. It could be because somebody mad and they choosing to add on some stuff but it's, it's gonna be believable and if you defend it's like if you defend yourself it look like you done something wrong if you don't say nothing is you done something wrong you know what i'm saying so you you be stuck against the wall because you don't want people to think a certain way about you but in a sense you don't care ah right, move move i'm doing a video let's go you don't want people to you want people to hear your side but, sorry about that, y'all. But, um, you, you want people to know, like, hey, this is not what it is. And it's this, but as soon as you say something in your mouth, it's like, oh, she lying. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, she gonna get it anyway. But like I said, Queen is a grown woman. She can pick, she can pick and choose if she wanna, whoever she want to do business with that's her why not let the family eat i don't see nothing wrong with it you know what i'm saying keep it in the family somebody family she taking care of her mom let's keep it in the family shit it just worked out that way y'all it just worked out that way you know what i'm saying i don't think because like i said if you really look back at when was Queen really hanging out with her moms? Show me a video. Other than when she broke up with with um Chris, you know, she took her mom out for the birthday and they did some family vlog. I mean, she went to a family house. It wasn't too many videos you could see. It wasn't no problem then. So why now? That's what I want to know. Please tell me why now? Why not all the bash? It wasn't there when when she was with Chris. When she wasn't spending that much time, she could with somebody new. Now all of a sudden all these all this come out. I don't get it. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. You know? They both do for each other. I can see if it was a one way street, but it's a two way street with this stuff. If I can make, if somebody I'm interested in, and I can, hey, we both can grind and make money. I'm sure, of course, I'm going to show him how to grind and make money. 
And it's going in a ho it's going in the same household, y'all. Y'all act like Claire's money going somewhere else. It's going in the household. They only show us only so much. They don't show us everything that they do, who they buy. You know what I'm saying? Nobody didn't say nothing when Clarence did that birthday thing that Queen was using him. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Clarence do. Well, all right, y'all. This is my opinion of what I feel about this Queen situation. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what y'all feel. You know what I'm saying? We might, we, everybody have a different opinion. But, okay, y'all. I'll check y'all out later. Peace out.